Welcome back to our video roundup. I'm Valerie Jimison and I'm going to take you through our favourite science videos from the past week. First off, we get up close and personal with the first ever video footage of human ovulation. Sandrine Kerstemont tells us more. The patient monitored her temperature and hormones to predict when she was about to ovulate and when to begin the filming. Here you can see the ovary in the end of the fallopian tube covered with finger-like protrusions called fimbriae. A mucus plug containing the egg breaks away from the ovary. The fingers move in time to the woman's heartbeat and become more distinct when they reach for the egg. Eventually, they'll sweep the egg into the fallopian tube, where it will pass into the uterus. The researchers managed to capture this video footage on their first attempt. Next, we look at how NASA is preparing for upcoming human missions to the moon. Here in Moses Lake, Washington, researchers recently spent 12 days testing new rovers, spacesuits and scout robots. The sand dunes and variety of soils in this area are ideal for testing how prototypes might perform on the harsh lunar landscape. This rover, which has six legs and can roll or walk over very rough terrain, is designed to transport heavy cargo on the moon. Another vehicle contains a unique feature that allows each wheel to move independently, so it can be driven in any direction. A bulldozing blade can be added to the truck if it needs to clear a landing pad or dig up some lunar soil. The researchers plan to analyse the results from these tests, all in preparation for a second round of trials in October at another location. Finally, we have another video first. Sandrine takes us through time-lapse footage of a metal-eating pest. This is the first video footage showing the transformation of tin from a bendy metal to a flaky brittle material. The change normally occurs in cold temperatures, and it looks like the metal is being eaten by an invisible pest. The reaction usually takes months or years at low temperatures, but here the researchers used a chemical trick to speed up the process. It took just 30 hours at minus 35 degrees Celsius. They filmed the transformation using a camera attached to a microscope. The experiments should help the researchers better understand which physical and chemical conditions contribute to tin pest. That's all for now, but if you're hungry for more science and technology stories, you can always check out our website. Find out how you can make diamond films from tequila, or how pigs are being used to study what happens to human corpses underwater. Bye for now, see you next time.